Hello from Bear River, January 9th, 1200 cubic feet per second, and the expanse is quite large of the flows. It's kind of the sun's going down here at the beaver pond place, but I wanted to get um, the how far and wide the water is flowing. There's a little creek now. This pool right here has a creek. I don't know if you can see it, but it's flowing through these rocks in connection with the groundwater. It's going down that way and flowing into that big pool at the base of the trail over there and then rejoining. And then the island over there has got a big old channel in it as well. So these high flows are just wonderful for the emerging wetland and the creation of uh, aquatic habitat. There is a way to help this happen. I sincerely hope it does. Now I see something over there. It looks like some birds, but I could be wrong. But there. There. And I see movement, so I'm not real sure, but there could be some geese parked over there. Enjoying this like everybody else. And it, it's just so exciting. This little cobble place is disappearing because the river is basically taking it over. And when you look at it, it's slowly with the debris and the sediment really doing what rivers do. And I'm pretty excited to be a witness. This is just another reason that we don't want to disappear all these acres and incredible functioning watershed that we got going here. I mean, when you think of the surface of a reservoir and then you think of the side hill all the way down to the bottom, across the bottom, all the way back up and all the curves and canyons and everything, the amount of surface of the earth that would be creating wetlands is incredibly diminished. I mean, they go, oh, well, it's only whatever, you know, and they're looking at it from the top. And that's the trouble with, like, topographic maps. The surface area is misrepresented because if the canyon is steep, there's a whole lot of surface there that's not being accounted for um, because of the slope. And it's the same here. I mean, this habitat is just immense. The the um, the extent of what is offered in this river canyon is breathtaking. And just this little thing right here, the diversity and the amount of life and like little uh, microscopic animals that the fish eat, all that kind of stuff, is um, geometric to uh, what would be lost. I mean, it's crazy when you think of it that way. And this is just one gravel area. There are several on Bear River, and um, they could all become water storage, natural water storage. Because you know the water is in these rocks, is stored, because that's what an aquifer is, gravel and rocks. And in some places, this is 60 feet deep. Now there's this weird orange thing floating on the water, coming our way. So I'm going to watch it as it comes. Maybe I can't watch it very long because I deleted a whole bunch of videos to be able to take more. So we see it here coming. And I will, um, you know, do another video when it gets closer. Oh, Metakwiasin, having fun at Bear River, watching things unfold.